So, today what I'm gonna be doing is, I've already made a list of my favorite songs in order from my worst to my best. And this list is going to get hate, I just know it already. Because, you know, everybody is entitled to their own opinion until they are a diehard fan of something. But um, without any further ado, I am going to get into it. There is 16 songs in total. Some of them are better than others. <laughs> and just letting you know beforehand, this is my opinion. So, um, that's, I'm just explaining as to why my number 16 is at my number 16 and, um, oh boy. <laughs> My number 16 is You've already done so much The reprisal of more than anything between Charlie and Maggie I just think, like, and also I'm looking down because I'm writing it down as I go so I don't forget what songs I have and what songs I haven't I woke up like an hour ago, don't judge me <laughs> Uh, the reason why I put this one on the bottom is because like yeah sure we're supposed to have a romance song in every season which is you know kind of obvious and it's Broadway so of course there's going to be you know a slow romantic song between two characters I don't have anything against Charlie and Maggie as characters I just think that you know, the song, it did not resonate with me personally. And it's also the song that I skip the most. There's something that I've been dying to say More than anything More than anything Need you to Okay, number 15. Um, what weighs on your soul, old friend? I implore you to share the load. If it was thou who slew the angel, why not let your strength be known? Whatever it takes. <laughs> I'm gonna put whatever it takes on, on my number 15 because um, I think that Carmilla's part was the only one that was actually necessary. You know? But if anyone knew, then all of hell would rise to war and who? Maggie just basically had a mental breakdown <laughs> that came out of nowhere. And I was like, you know, what is the purpose of me if I can't even protect you? But, you know, it's just my opinion. Because in the song, you know, Carmilla speaks of how she will protect her kids and protect everybody that she loves by, you know, not telling all of hell about the fact that they can kill exorcist angels. But Maggie has just finished <clears throat> you not know, dealing with Charlie with trust exercises. And apparently she failed her and um, she is all just over dramatic. She is me, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, Maggie just dealt with Charlie being all like, what is the point of me if I can't even, you know, help you with anything that you wanna do? 
and um, then she sings about how she's going to be her partner and all that, and um, she somehow magically just decides to, you know, go back. <laughs> and um, yeah, like I say, I don't have anything against them as characters. I just think that Maggie's part was unnecessary. So. The song would have been better, in my opinion, if it was just Carmilla's song. Number 14, I already know what song I'm gonna put in there. I'm gonna put Out For Love in my number 14 because, okay, my reasoning for that one is actually pretty good. The song is too short. But you'll only stand a chance if you're out for love, out for love, love, love. No, the song is too short, the lyrics, you know, I tried to, you know, put it into perspective as to where the lyrics were taking it, and I just couldn't. You yourself with the fear of losing that somebody who's your reason to live. Harness your heart and you can't help choosing to fight with all you can give. I couldn't see it. But, you know, the message of, you know, fighting for love instead of just revenge, anger, and because you're in a silly, goofy mood. Yeah, it's a good message, but the song is way too short. I know you're thirsting for vengeance, faggy, you're out for blood. But you'll only stand a chance if you're out for love. Out for love, 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 love. Think of who you care about. Protect them and be out for love. Uh, people are gonna hate me for this one, but my number 13? <laughs> Dearly beloved, it is my pleasure to say unto thee, Welcome to heaven. Oh. Is welcome to heaven. <laughs> the reason why... Okay, don't, don't, don't argue too harshly with me on that one. Welcome to heaven is a bop. Welcome <laughs> to heaven. Oh. Check out our sick decor, the spirits there. You can't convince me otherwise that, you know, the character that we see the least, the least amount of time in, has the biggest bop in the entire season. <laughs> you know, he comes in, and you know, he's just doing his job, like, not gonna let Elizabeth's kid into heaven, oh god. <laughs> and then, you know, he hits us with a, welcome to heaven, and then... <laughs> Okay, my number 12. It starts with sorry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put uh, it starts with sorry as my number 12. The other songs are better. Like, yeah, sure, it's another slow song, like the reprise of More Than Anything between the two of them. But, you know, this one, it kind of resonated with me more. Oh, who 
would forgive a dirtbag like me. I don't deserve your amnesty. Can't we just kill him? Shoot him and spill his blood? That's an option you could choose. It works for us. And, you know, it's... It's just better than the reprise. I'm sorry. It starts with sorry. Sorry. Dig down deeper and say one sincere sorry. I'm so sorry. And your journey's underway. It'll, It'll take, take time, time to cover, cover my vast multitude of sins. But sorry is where it begins. Sorry. You can take off my head if you want to, but I'm just gonna say that I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I think that in my number 11. And in the end, I won't lose it all again. Now you're the only thing worth fighting for. I'm gonna put more than anything, just the original between Charlie and Lucifer. More than anything, more than anything, I'll shelter and adore you more than anything. Uh, the duet between Lucifer and Charlie is just absolutely beautiful. You know, Lucifer finally comes to terms that his daughter is dedicated as shit. <laughs> I've been dying to find out who you are. I've been waiting, wanting the same thing. Looks like the apple doesn't fall far. Took you a while. I've missed that smile. And she is not gonna give up. So he, you know, finally realizes that, you know, okay, she's dead ass serious about this. <laughs> You are part of who I am I'll support your dream Whatever lies in store And you could ask for more than anything More than anything So I can't be there with you to protect you Because it, it deep inside Lucifer is just an overprotective father I'm grateful you're my daughter more than Okay, we are in the top 10s and I think that starting off my 10s list is going to be <laughs> all right then yeah how's great as that is gonna go number 10 looks like you could use some help from the big boss of hell himself check out daddy's long reviews on Yelp five star flawless really great and believe me I would have put the song lower but Mimsy's part is slowly growing on me. Hey, yes, it's me. I know you were all waiting for me. And I hate that. I hate that the most annoying part of the song is growing on me. It's me, it's me, Mimsy. Who? And also, Alistair in that song is my spirit animal. <laughs> Who's been here since day one? Who's been faithful as a nun? Who makes you chuckle with an old timey pun? Your executive producer. That's true! Simply doing anything he can to piss off the king of hell. <laughs> that man has nerves of steel. You're like the child that I wish that I had. Uh, what? I care for you just like a daughter I spawned. Hold on now. It's a little funny. You could almost call me. Yeah. Say the family you choose is better What a bunch of losers Can you butt out of my song? Your song? I started this I'm singing it, I'll finish it Oh, you tacky yes. piece of And plus, you know, the best part of the song being the fucking instrumental battle between the two of them
And oh my god, it was just so it was so great. Okay, number nine. I um... She was right, Sarah. She showed us the soul can improve. You didn't know is at my number nine because it is you know it's worth being in the tens. But I mostly enjoy songs where I can sing through the entire thing. And I don't know if you know, but there's a specific part in the song where there's like four people singing at the same time, basically. <laughs> but no, Adam's part, you know, when he comes in and when Loot comes in. What are we even talking about? Some crack or who fucked up already? There's no question to be posed. He's unholy case closed. You know, they had Hell is Forever, but you didn't know, you know, starts off softly with Emily and then slowly builds up with Charlie and then it just hits you in the face with the electric guitars coming in and I'm a sucker for electric guitars. I don't know if you know that, but there's a song in here that has an instrument that I'm an even bigger sucker for and you're gonna find out when it arrives. <laughs> But no, then, you know, punches you in the face with the electric guitar, with Loot and Adam coming in. <laughs> and then, you know, Emily's part comes in, and they have, like, this piano part where it's, like, steady rhythm on the piano. Wait, shit! What are you saying? Let me get this straight! And then the whole, you know, four people singing at the same time, you know, it's Emily going, like, what? What are you saying? Let me get this straight out oh, you. You go down there and kill those poor souls. You didn't know. Whoops. Yes, the cat's out of the bag. What's the big deal? So tell me that you didn't know. You go down there and kill those poor. And then Charlie goes in. You didn't know. And then Adam goes in. Whoops. And then Luke immediately gets the cat out of the bag. And then Adam. <laughs> What's the big deal? And I'm just like, I can't sing all of that because I love all parts individually, but I can't just pick one. <laughs> if hell is forever, then heaven must be a lie. Emily. If angels can do whatever and remain in the sky, the rules are shades of gray when you don't do as you say when you make the wretched suffer just to kill them again. Don't you act all high and mighty Did you ever think your little girlfriend might be a liar? Don't, Adam, please What's the fuss? Why hide the fact that you're an angel just like us? What could arguably be the best song in the show, but um... He did it for us the ultimate sacrifice He gave me his trust And look how we paid the price It's gonna be the finale The last song of the show You can do this Now I know it For your story has just begun You can't quit now Hell you owe it there's still damage to be undone Which, it's in my top tens for particular reasons it, it is the same reason as, you know, you didn't know It starts up slow and then builds up We can do this, we can build it Best hotel that you've ever seen Long as I've got all And I absolutely love Vox's and Valentino's part in the song. After the battle, masterless cattle, overlords hanging by a thread. With a bit of bravado, maybe tomorrow we'll be atop the heap. While the rest of hell's pissing, Alistair's missing, fled with his tail between his legs. Nature abhors a power vacuum, it leaves room for you and me. The future of hell belongs to the bees. <laughs> then after that, there's Alistair's part. This place reeks of death. There's a chill in the air. 
And I barely escaped being killed by a hair. Great Alistair Altruist died for his friends. Sorry to disappoint, that is not where this ends. I'm hungry for freedom like never before. The constraints of my deal surely have a back door. Once I figure out how to unclip my wings, guess who will be pulling all the strings? <laughs> and there's the end part of the song and then the beginning of the song. I know it's kind of weird. So it's the song that hits you immediately after, you know, the final battle scene in the show. And the second that that piano starts, you, you just know that shit's about to go down. <laughs> mm, but that's how I like the song, but um, beggars can't be choosers and I'm not gonna complain. Oh, what's the matter, Fossil? Too senile to make a real power grab? Yeah, I'm gonna put respectless at number seven. You oh. better show some respect! Check your behavior. No one speaks to Zestral that way. Because I wish, I really wish that Respectless was longer than it is. <laughs> You've got it twisted. I'm not the one who needs a new attitude. Maybe you missed it. But I'm that hashtag bitch and I will do nothing less than what I please. Woo! Well, it's cause no one could respect this You can really tell that Sam put his entire heart and soul into the instrumentals in this song Because that is a living tombstone song if I've ever heard one You worthies are remaining and uninformed Smug wannabes who don't heed when you've been warned And you know, hello? Velvet has a British accent. Oops, did I strike a nerve? Cause when I brought out the angel's head, why are you avoiding war? That's what the guns you sell are for. Thanks to my being respectless, one thing I'm starting to suspect is you know why this angel's headless? Do you have a disclosure? This meeting's over! D that's just, that's, that's my reasoning as to why, why it's a, in, in number seven, because it's way better than all of the other songs, it's a pop. And I'm, yeah. <laughs> what song would come after Respectless? I'm talking about one of my favorite songs, but it's not in my top five. For the first time in my life, maybe I can be ready for this. I can be the marshal leading the parade. I can come into my own. Okay, in my number six spot in the top songs from Has Been Hotel It's a song that made me cry <laughs> For the first time in our lives we know that we are ready for this We'll show him in a fight they won't forget But not for the reasons that you might think Those were happy tears, so <laughs> Take it anymore. The time has come to go to war. Prepare to fight. We're ready for this. I really hope that I'm ready for this. Don't make fun of me too bad. But no, okay. My number six is um ready for this. Uh, you know, you know, the same with finale, and you didn't know. You know, starts off slow, starts off calm kind of and then builds up to the final part of the song like have you listened to the instrumental version of that build up that is oof but now at during this song charlie 
convinces the cannibals to come fight with her. And then Alistair's old big spooky mystery, like, hey, yo. They're dancing along, they're singing her song. Surprised why I knew she could do it all along. She's bound to pass the test as princess of hell. Like her daddy, she is badly powerful. I, she, she got some potential, and then he, you know, does his evil-ass smirk. She's filled with potential that I could guide. I can But then, you know, Rosie comes in and Alistair's normal, apparently, so... <laughs> My number five song is going to be... Oh, okay, but just don't sing to them. That bitch is halfway down the street. Is she... Oh, she's dancing. Oh, uh, no. Happy day in hell. Why not? No, you know what? It's it's at number five. It's a worth... It, it, it's top five worthy. The warm, fuzzy feeling that walks through the air feeds anywhere if you don't mind the smell. Yourself. It's worth it. Because like for a week straight, when I go to work, I put both of my earbuds in and I walk to work while listening to Happy Day in Hell and it just makes me so happy. It makes me ready for the day. I don't know why. But also just the way that the ensemble comes in. There's an endless trash fire that's burning my soul. I'll get heaven behind my I can show it, not this once-in-a-lifetime chance. It, 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 brain tingles. It's the only thing I'm gonna say. I have nothing else to say about this song. Okay, number four. <laughs> so things look bad and your back's against the wall. Your whole existence seems fucking hopeless. It's gonna be a loser, baby. Like, come on. If you put it any lower than top five, we can't be friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? You're a loser, baby, a loser, goddamn baby. You're a fucked up little whiny bitch. Hey. You're a loser just like me. Thanks, asshole. You're a screws, loose boozer, and only one star reviewer. You're a how about a mad rock bottom? You got company. This is supposed to make me feel better. Loser Baby happens in episode four. Between Husk and Angel Dust. It's a it, it's a song where basically he's just like, listen, you fucked up. I fucked up too. And it's okay. Just just roll with it. <laughs> We're all living in the same shit sandwich. I sold my soul. To a psychopathic freak. <laughs> and you think that makes you unique? Get out of here, man. That's basically it. And this is also the song, if you remember earlier when I talked about the pianos, or no, the electric guitars in um, You Didn't Know, the trumpets in Loser Baby. I am a sucker for trumpets. Baby, sing that song. Come on. I got no holes left to the flower. I sold my soul to save my power Now I'm on that demon's leash I'm trapped and it gets worse with every hour I don't know why I just love that instrument in particular And it just sounds so smooth Ugh. It's time to lose yourself Loathing, excuse yourself Let hope in, baby Play your card, be who you are just like there he is. They're fucking singing. Okay, number three. We are in the top threes, and there's only three songs left, and that's "Stayed Gone," "Poison," and "Hell Is Forever." And in number three, it's gonna be yeah. "Stop You Right There." Oh. Save us all precious time. Okay. If what you're suggesting is letting them climb up the ladder, oh, they'd rather cross the pearly gates. Well, I'm sorry, sweetie, but there's no defying their fate. "Hell Is Forever," because come on. Cause hell is forever, whether you like it or not Had their chance to behave better, now they boil in the pot Cause the rules are black and white, there's no use in trying to fight it They're burning for their lives until we kill them again ah. 
are they winners? Are they sinners? Cause it's cut and dry. Fair is fair, and I for an eye. Yeah. When all said and done, there's the question of fun. He cooked. He cooked with this song. You know, it's also just a fantastic song to end episode one with. And it basically just gives you an entire read on Adam's attitude. So you're just like, okay, so he is an asshole. Fucking hell's forever and it's meant to suck a lot. Then he ends it with, you know, I know it's just been a week, but we'll be back in six months. Like, he's gonna cut the timetable down in half. And he just wants to do it again for shiggles, you know. Okay, number two. This song is the first song in the entire series that I started spamming. And that's when you know that I enjoy a song. It's also one of the most controversial songs in the entire series. It's Poison. It's the worst part of this hell. I can only blame myself. Cause I know you're poison. You're feeding me poison. Addicted to this feeling. I can't help but swallow up your poison. I made my choices. Every night I'm living like there's no tomorrow. Poison also happens in episode 4, like Loser Baby, but this happens after a particularly tough time in the episode. So, I'm not gonna talk about the episode or what happens, but I'm just gonna do, like, I'm gonna go quickly around it because, you know, so many people had an issue with the way that the animation was made. Like, in the background of the song for that episode in particular. But speaking as a victim myself, I had no issue with said animation or the scene that happened before it, you know, in the dressing room. I had no issue with it whatsoever. So like I said in the beginning of the video, this is my personal opinion. Not every victim thinks the same. Not every victim deals with their trauma the same. In my own personal opinion, the reason why I put Poison so high on my list is first, I can relate to said song, which, you know, means I automatically love it more than anything. And, hey, that's the title of a song in the season. <laughs> I don't know, I can relate to the song. It's been, what? It's been five years since I got out of my situation and you know, it still affects me to this day, but not as much as it used to because, you know, you, 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 learn, you learn to live, basically. Poison, I'm drowning in poison. I'm filling up my glass, but it's always hollow, full of poison. I'm sick of the poison. Wish I had something to live for tomorrow. But also just the way that Angel's situation is portrayed to the song, not in the music video. I actually enjoyed the shit out of it. But before I go on to a whole tangent, I'm gonna give an honorable mention because I literally just thought of this. Um, an honorable mention goes to Addict, the music video. Hell death do us part, but we're already past that phase. And I think I deserve some praise for the way that I am Despite having overdosed and ending up comatose This is the mantra 
This is my life You're playing with now Till the end of the night You should ignite A hit of the heaven and hell I have it Cause we basically got Angel's backstory Before we even saw Angel's backstory I'm addicted To the madness This hotel is My Atlantis We're forever gonna have a fucking reason to sin Let me leave my soul to burn and I'll be breathing it in In Addict And plus the, the, the beat drop Oof. And we're never gonna want this fucking feeling to end Just concede and give in to your inner demons again That Silverhound did magic with that song. So that's my honorable mention for this list. And at number one. And this song comes in episode two after Samsung TV Man, <laughs> aka my biggest man crush at the moment. <laughs> Find out that Alistair is back. Fucker is back! Yeah, I thought he was gone for good too. It's been seven years! You still pissed? He almost beat you that time. Uh, fuck you! Just saying. Things have changed a lot since he left town. That's for sure. I gotta send a message of who's really in charge of things now! <laughs> and then, epic song ensues. It's stayed gone. Welcome to the show. Top of the hour, and we're discussing a certain has been who has been spotted cavorting around town after a seven year absence. Did anybody miss him? Did anybody notice? More on tonight's program. Hey, Christian and Amir have the best voices in the entire show. I know it's been a while since someone with style treated hell to a broadcast. Sinner for joy. What a dated voice. Instead of a cloud chasing, mediocre video podcast. Come on. His looks insecure, pursuing allure, living between this fat and that. Is nothing working? Ignore his chirping. Every day he's got a new format. You're looking at the future. He's the shit that comes before that. Fight me. No, a lot of people don't like Amir as Alistair for some reason. They prefer the old one. I personally prefer Amir's voice, but that's just me, my personal opinion. Is Vox as strong as he purports, or is it based on his support? He'd be powerless without the other V. Oh, please! Again. But stay gone? Oh my god. <laughs> I did not expect to get an absolute jasser piece. Just a song that makes me go like this every time I hear it. So, like, <laughs> I don't know what else I can actually say about the song other than that it's fucking epic. You old tiny prick, I'll show you suffering. Uh oh, the TV is buffering. I'll destroy you. I'm afraid you've lost your signal. And fucking Alistair's end part. Like, I am here, and I am not leaving. Just... <laughs> Let's begin. I'm gonna make you wish that I'd stayed gone. Tune on in when I'm done. Your status quo will know its race is run. Oh, this will be fun. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, that's it for today's video. I've been filming for 44 minutes. I need to edit this shit and get this shit out. Okay, that's it. Bye. I had a dime every time someone tried me in my pride. I'd be richer than... Oh, my phone is going to be right next to the speaker. I need to turn the music off. Uh, all days. Of all days. Really? Why? I'm gonna put these in my joker. Oh god, I have massage my nips so or they bread pieces. I think I'm just going to redo my legs. On camera. And that's how I get No, 
know I don't hate women. <laughs> I am not against the LGBTQ community. Speaking as a person that's been in there <laughs> for 12 years. We all have one of those, don't we? Or a sad dad for those of us who are children of separation. But no, I have my dad and then I have my sad dad. Both of them are me. I wonder why I turned out like such a <laughs> Thank you, dad. It's either because I'm cold or because I, I love the song so much, but I'm giving chills. <laughs> I need a lot. Does anybody have one to spare? I feel like I'm getting a No, I'm not freaking. Can you tell I have a touch of the tism? 